for the light has come. The glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Hallelujah. So we want to walk and talk about the word of God that us let my light shine so we can go and show people that Yahshua is Lord. Amen. All right. God bless you. We'll get into the word. We're going live right now and we're going to just let God be God and show us the way. Amen. All right. I'll check you later. All right. God bless everybody. Hope everybody having a great morning. I'm sitting here getting set up as usual. You probably said, man, why don't you get set up when you get started, man, before you get going? I know it. But it's all about just getting into the word of God and and, and prepping and doing the things that that is acceptable in his sight, you know? Uh, and, <laughs> and I know, it being acceptable in man's sight, boy, we got some work to do, right? But you know, I think about the fact is that the Lord said, you know, he even told uh, that Cain, you know, hey, Cain, you know, he gave an offering that was not uh, accepted by God, you know, and he got all upset. And God said, man, look, if you just do what I asked you to do, uh, will you not be accepted? Uh, and, 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 and all he had to do is just understand that he said, you'll be accepted, you'll do well. Uh, even even uh, in the New Testament, Christ said uh, <laughs> the, to the person to, to go into to come into the gate, he said, uh, well done, my good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. I'll make you ruler over many. You know, I like the, the statement that said, well done. See, well done implies that, you know, you, you, did, you did well, <laughs> right? You, you did well. And, 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 and I think that's the importance of understanding that being, doing well is, 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 is all that matters. You know, just do well. Uh, not do great. I know a lot of people, we like to do great, right? Well, you, you greatness moves from, from glory to glory, from moment to moment. And we're just getting to doing well as we just, as, as we live our life, right? Well is, is acceptable. Well, do it the best you can, because I know one thing, uh, and, and I'm saying for every last one of us, the biggest challenge is doing well in the eyes of men, not understanding that well is really should be focused on God Almighty. Because see, he knows our shortfalls, he knows our issues, he knows the political challenges that we have, right? I mean, you don't know about, it. I mean, you got, you got people with different opinions, uh, people with less grace, people with more grace. What I mean, sometimes people have a tendency to, to people, not God. God gives us grace. God gives us mercy. And, and he, he sent his son. He sent grace. He sent mercy so that we can come to him as children of God. And just like we treat our own children, our own siblings, or how we treat our nieces and nephews, we give them grace. We give them mercy. We know that they don't have it all together. And the same thing that we're supposed to do with our fellow brothers and sisters, mankind as a whole, is to say, look, I love you. I know you're not that great. Some of you are extremely efficient in some things that you do in some areas. In some areas, you're not. Some of you are just just weak all the way across the board. And I guess I put, I put myself in that category, and I guess we should all put ourselves in that category to a degree of saying, I wish I could do better. And see, a lot of cases, when you talk from a religious perspective, we're thinking about sin, right? We're talking about the outright sins, the big sins, the big noticeable sin. But in reality, for most, most of us, 
we're talking about little things that we have to uh, try to be efficient on, try to be correct on. Uh, and, and we find it, it's, it's not that uh, easy sometimes. It's, it's, it's sometimes that, you know, that's why, for example, you, you want to be proficient in driving your car, right? Uh, and sometimes we have accidents, right? Uh, we, we want to be proficient in spellings, proficient in speaking. Uh, we, we want to feel like we have all the answers. In a lot of cases, we don't. And sometimes we feel inadequate because we don't have all the right answers. Uh, or we don't look uh, always together, act together. Uh, some of them, we don't, sometimes we don't show up to work on time, or we don't get the project or suspense done on time. And, and, and sometimes we disappoint people because they, they have an expectation that sometimes we can't fulfill, and, and we feel inadequate about that. Uh, we got people who have different opinions, and, and, and some people want you to either go their way or, or, or no way, and, and uh, my way or the highway, and, and that makes you feel uh, not so good. But you know, but God, if that's why I think you're talking about being more spiritual minded, is that when we get spiritual minded, we can we can maneuver into doing the things that please God and not please man. Because I'm telling you, I think a lot of us, I think you agree with it, most of us are trapped in trying to please our set, please other people in ourselves. But some of us have a high expectations of ourselves that, that we can't reach. And we and we also preach people to reach that high standard, that high bar too. In a lot of cases, we can't get there, and they can't get there. So uh, let's let's talk about the fact is that being in this type of ministry, this type of forum, is to focus on the fact is let's learn to please God and understand pleasing Him is acceptable in His sight. It's not pleasing man all the time because you know even when christ walked this earth yeshua our savior known as in english as jesus offended people especially the religious institutions of that time people who who were in charge and tried to impose a standard that even themselves were not able to achieve and and love to call everybody else sinners love to to determine whether you are learned or unlearned uh and, and put you down if you're considered unlearned uh love to make sure everybody consensus goes with the crowd opposed to with the will of god and understanding the will of God is the mercy and the grace of God. And even today's standards, people don't want to give that mercy, give that grace to you or to me. Uh, and we have to sit there and understand, I need, to, I need to get, and I have the mercy of God, the mercy of Yeshua, the mercy of the Holy Spirit. You know, these three are one. And they give us mercy. They give us grace. And I think all throughout the Bible, those, the characters from the Old Testament throughout the New Testament have, have come fallen short uh, in proficiency and in sin. They have had issues that Sean fallen short on it. And, and, and God's grace and mercy still stayed with him. I like even when we talk about David and how David tried to maneuver uh, his life. And, and you get to see the, the, the success and you get to see the failures. You see the, 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 the greatness of a king and yet the weakness of a king. And he, I, I think God, I think that's why those characters are written in the Bible to give us as examples is that I'm not looking for what God is saying anyway. I ain't looking for 100%. And I, 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 if you want to sit there and try to give people 100%, meaning do it their way, 
uh, you're going you're gonna to always have trouble. And, and I have trouble uh, when we try to live under the expectations of others instead of the expectation of God. I like that, the expectation of God, because you know what? In the end, every last one of us is going to go before him, not before our fellow man. We go before a fellow man while we're living in his lifetime, and we're going to find out we are not all that in the bag of potato chip, and they are not all that in the bag of potato chip, but the expectations that people try to impose on one another, the, the, the manipulation and the, uh, the uh, just outright uh, bad things uh, that people will do in life. And we have to sit there and deal with that. And not fall uh, at the fall short in those people. So anyway, what, what I want to talk about today is, is is dealing with letting your light shine, your light shine. But let's pray first. Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity to come and worship and praise your holy name. You said with two or three of God in your name, you'd be in the midst of them. I now invite you to see the Holy Spirit to lead and guide me in your way. Move me out of your way so you can do those things that are acceptable and in your sight is reasonable for those who want to hear the word of God today. Let us let us submit to you, submit to the will of the Holy Spirit and be straightforward. Allow the word of God to shine. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. 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 And then just this the case that you know we're living for for English I guess since the 1500s or 1600s. Uh, we have it going. Hey, good brother. I hear you though. I I see you moving around, but I don't I ain't getting no sound from you. You can hear me though, right? Yeah, it's you're not coming through on no sound yet. But I know you coming. I know you coming. <laughs> you coming. You just ain't here yet. <laughs> but uh as Brother Asin gets ready to, to, to get his mic on and he'll be talking in a minute, he'll test his mic system. Uh, I, I just said that it is a challenge in life uh, when we try to live up the expectation of people. And we'll find out when we live up the expectation of people, we're going to fall short over and over again. And sometimes we have expectations of ourselves. Hey, I heard something. Yeah, I'm here. Hey, all right, good brother. Hey, I already prayed, but if you want to pray, I I, I leave it up to you now. That's that's fine. I, I I believe that you're you're anointed enough to to talk to our Father. Yes, <laughs> Amen, Amen. And and you know, like I said, when two or three got his name in the midst, and you know, he's in the midst because he's never going to leave me nor forsake me. He's never going to leave you nor forsake you. So we know he is always in the midst. That's why the Holy Spirit dwells in us. And uh, and that's that's the blessing in itself. I was uh, getting ready to uh, uh, talk about the topic today, but hey, guess what? I wanted to tell people, and I I'm, I'm making an introduction slide, and and I'll show you. And I'm missing one piece of the slide, but I want to be able to do before going to a topic is remind people, just like I do it at TikTok. Have you checked your fruit today? <laughs> Have you recognized the power of allowing the Holy Spirit manifest in you to show you that he's Lord and you're supposed to allow yourself to bear good fruit? So what fruit we're talking about? We're talking about the fruit of the Spirit. Galatians found in Galatians uh, 5, 22 to 23. Now the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, <laughs> long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there's no law. And, 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 and Brother Asa, the whole point I'm saying is that's the characteristic of the Holy Spirit. And, and if we want to check ourselves daily, let's check where the, whether we bearing good fruit or not. You know what I mean? Yeah. I also want to add into my uh, slide that I think I'll, in the future is for those people to know how if they have not received Jesus, Yeshua uh, as a personal Lord and Savior, <clears throat> is to go by Romans 10, 9, and 10. And, and it says, and I'll put it on the next time I put it on the slide, I think I just used it 
is introduction, you know, foundational slide for where I'm coming from, or where we're coming from, or what we're supposed to be. <clears throat> Romans 10, 9, 10 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shall be saved. For with the heart man believes, with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Now, I, one of my, my our favorite bishops say that it, it, what Bishop is trying to say is, you got to understand when we say Yeshua is Lord of our life, we're saying is I'm getting off the throne of my life. And I'm allowing him to be Lord in my life. I'm allowing him to be led by the Holy Spirit and not by my, my ability, you know? And then I like the part about this is understanding, that's vision want to make sure we break people understand is, at least I want to be able to say this, is that if you believe that God has raised him from the dead, it's, 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 it's showing that that same power they raised Christ from the dead. They, they, he laid down his life on his own and he got the power to lift it up. That same power gives us the ability to become children of God. That same power gives us to, to, to that grace that we need to, to, to conform to the image of his dear son. But the starting point is, A, confess who's Lord, opposed to allowing yourself to be Lord, and definitely not allowing Satan or, or dark spirits to be Lord in your life. And definitely not to let some other people be Lord in your life. Hey, 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 hey. That, that's the biggest, that's, other people, dark spirits, you want to be Lord in your life. And what we're saying, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus or Yeshua, you're saying is, no, I'm allowing the Godhead, God the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit to be Lord over my life. And you know what? I'd rather he, they be Lord of my life, the, the Godhead. I'd rather the Holy Spirit be Lord of my life because you know what? I think I fall too short. I think people fall too short as well in letting them be Lord in our lives. But people try to tell you to do things and expect you to do things, and you just can't, you can't meet the expectation of people. And to tell you the truth, you can't meet the expectation of yourself. You know, you, you can try, but I think a lot of us get depressed and disappointed sometimes when we fall short. You know what I mean? And then we go get mad, we get upset, then we get depressed, and then we go to condemnation and all that other stuff, opposed to saying, you know, God, I'm going to go, to, and I like what the, the Hebrew, right? To be able to go boldly to the throne, to the throne of grace yeah. is, is, is where I like about the gospel. And then in, in John 13, 34, it says, a new commandment I give unto you. Because like Bishop said, is that it? I just told you the part of our understanding and making that statement. But now the other part is, if he's going to be Lord, he gives us a commandment. He gave us a new commandment, which is to love one another. This is John 13, 34, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another. As I have loved you, that you also love one another. And he said, based on the fruits of the Spirit again, he said, men will know that you are my disciples, verse 35, this shall all men know, that you are my disciples, if you do what? If you have love for one another. That's, that's the key that the world is looking at. He said, this is, this is not God saying for me knowing that you're my child, my disciple. This is for all men to know that you are my disciple by the love that you have for one another. And that's what the world is looking for, love for one another. And then Matthew 12, 33, either make the tree good, hey, and its fruit good, well, or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt for a tree is known by his fruit. What we need to understand is that not only 
does mankind need to know who we are by the fruits that we bear? Not only does mankind need to know that we are his disciples by the love that we give to one another, that is what God is going to have the expectation of saying, I know you by the fruits that you bear. He can recognize those fruits. I, we don't want to be, you and I talked many times before, we don't want to fall in that situation where we go before him. And, and you know, I got in this, matter of fact, I got in this slide deck. I don't know if we'll get to it, but it says, I never knew you. And we don't want to, nobody ever want to hear that. He said, I never knew you. It's not the fact that I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah. It's not about, he, he said, that's the problem. <laughs> I, 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 know the, I know the other part of you, the part of me, you work of inequity, because the part that you're showing is not acceptable. If he said, I, I never knew you. I never knew you in love. I never knew you in joy. I never knew you in peace. I never knew you in long suffering. I never knew you in gentleness. I never knew you in goodness. I never knew you in faith. Faith in me, trusting in me. I never knew you in meekness or temperance. I didn't know you in those areas. So I never knew you because I wanted you to conform to the image of his dear son. So those are, those are foundational uh, scriptures that she should be given uh, for session just, to, just to, to recognize, A, how to receive salvation. You know, we, the whole purpose of the Equip Saints is to do what? The work of the ministry, right? So what I'm going to have is the first slide we by itself. Romans 10, 9, and 10, unless you got another script you want to use. I mean, well, we I also think you should throw in Ephesians uh, <clears throat> 1, uh -uh. Uh, 1, 2, and 3. Oh, okay. And the reason why I say that, because it, it just breaks it down step Ooh. by step. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, it, it, uh, it talks about, uh, you know, after, after being predestined, according yeah. to the purpose of God's will. Uh, he talks about the, how we ob obtain an inheritance. Right. You know, right. and it says uh, that we have to first trust in Yeshua, Christ. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, the Messiah. And then it says, after that, you have to hear the gospel. Wow. Then it says, after hearing the gospel, it says you have to believe. Yes, you have to believe. And then after you believe, it says then you're sealed mm. with the Holy Spirit of promise. And that and that is the complete. You know, there's some people that hear the gospel but don't believe. So they're not sealed with the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. Those are the ones who are tossed to and fro. Mm. Those are the ones that he says, depart from me. <laughs> I never knew you. I never knew you. have you. not finished the process. Right. That's the issue, right? Yes. And the process begins by letting him be Lord in your life. Yeah. Now, uh, yeah. Can you see Ephesians 1 on my slide? Did I put it in front of you? No, you have not. Okay, let me back up for a second. So what I think it is that the, I, I put it over the slide. And I thought it would show up on the, over the slide, but it didn't. So let's put it up there. You said, you did say Ephesians 1, right? Yeah. 112. Oh, 112. Gotcha. There you go. Hallelujah, people. Let's hear this, brother, the scripture for everybody to look at. Uh, 112. And it says right here, like you said, that we should be, you want to read it? Go ahead. Okay. You read it. Okay, that we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in Christ, in whom ye also trusted. Is that right? Yeah. After that you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that you believe. Ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. Yeah. I like the part about sealed. Yeah, I, I, I love that because that right there is your confidence. 
because once you're sealed, Woo. this so-called backsliding thing on, no now. longer exists. Come on. This thing of, of, of coming in and out of the gospel uh -huh. no longer exists. <laughs> the, the thing of being a Christian and then not a Christian, you know, no longer exists. Falling by the wayside no longer exists after you've been sealed. Yes. But to be sealed. Come on now. <laughs> there's a process. There's a process. And, 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 you know, that's what people understand to be sealed by him, not by people, because yeah. people, people will unseal you. Yes. Or at least look, and, 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 it's, and it happens oh, every day. Every day. Every day. That's, that's where you get church hurt. There you go. There that's you where go. you get, that's where you get uh, uh, people into following man and not God. Come on. That's, that's, that's where you that. get people lifting up and, and serving men yes. and not serving God. Yes. You know, they, their dependence is on this, this man's acceptance. Yes. But you are already accepted in the <laughs> beloved. It says that you were accepted in the beloved. Now we're talking. You were accepted in the beloved. And that's what we need to understand is, is the expectation of being accepted by man, you're going to get fall short. And then the thing about it, even it yourself, right? Sometimes even yourself, because you mess up. You know, you know when you mess up, right? You you know when you messed up. Oh yeah. And and and, and you want to sit there and, and now condemn yourself, throw I'm through, I'm through myself. <laughs> and, yeah. and 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 that's what people feel. That's when we fall short. When we look at ourselves or look at our fellow man. We don't have the same grace that God has. And uh, I read a, I think David said it one time when he, he messed up and, and and they had like three options. And and, and, and he said, well, I'd rather put my hands in the Lord. <laughs> I'd rather fall into his, you know, if, he, if I'm gonna get punished, I'm gonna let it be with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Because if I put my, if I do it in the hands of man, Lord help me. Man, man, I'll tell you. Look at the disciples when they had to deal with the Pharisees. You know, they were like, well, what? Are we supposed to believe you or God? Come on now. Right. <laughs> you, go ahead and you go ahead and figure that out for yourself. Yeah. We already figured out that it's better to put our hands and put ourselves in the hands of God through our Lord and Savior, Yeshua, Jesus then to put our hands in the hands of man, man will throw you. See, that's the thing about man. Don't sometimes don't even recognize it. Uh, can be so cruel. The fruits, the history, the cardinality of man, the fruits are bad.